it's okay. <laughs> oh, look up. Okay, you can look down now. Look down. Look up. Those are your cake balls. You trying to open your boot cabinet? <gasps> Say House of Hughes. Are you trying to break into that cabinet, sissy? Oh, honey, my little drama llama. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you say House of Hughes? I will get her to say that on this vlog. I'm determined. Just making a quick little bagel sandwich for breakfast. We'll get your boots in a minute. If you guys saw my last vlog of a full day of eating, I've been doing so good at eating whole foods and we are continuing that today. Not continuing the full day of eating, but continuing the whole foods. You want your boots? Oh, your boots? Okay, if you give mommy a hug. Oh, thanks, boots. Okay, let's get your boots. Come on. We're gonna get your little bootsies. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Bye. Is my little girl just obsessed with her boots? She loves wearing her boots even if we're not going anywhere. She just wants to wear them around the house. Good job. <gasps> Pretty. Woohoo. All done. Close. Blakely. <laughs> no, you didn't like that cookie dough. You spit it out. Can you close the trash? Close. Show mommy how you close. Good girl. Bus just got here, so let's hope Blakely can stay distracted by the TV while I go grab Beckham so she doesn't run out of the house and try and attack him because she's always so excited when he gets home. Look at the way his legs are around my waist. Oh my goodness, like nothing. We love that Botox. Let's go feed this guy. Where are you going? Ah! Where are you going? Ah! Ah! Baba! Oh my goodness, boy. Wow. Wow. Say hi, guys. Oh. Baby, it's Baba. Blakely, did you say hi to Baba? She's so mad she missed the bus. Baby, come inside. Baba's home. Baba's home. <laughs> Saw this coming. This handsome boy is ready for a meal, and little Miss Blakely. She was Baba? very upset that she missed the bus, Baba? and so next time I'll probably just Baba? let her come out with me. Baba? Yeah, Baba's home, and I said, remember, we're so excited that Baba's home. It's not necessarily the bus we're stoked about, it's that Baba's home. <laughs> so I got her a little sandwich, and she's loving it, so she's very happy eating her lunch. And then we've got Chloe over here begging for some scraps, and I'm sure Blakely will give it and give some to her. And then I've got this handsome boy over here. He's been touching his hair. Baba, where's your hair? Do you know your hair is up here? 
He's been feeling it and kind of getting that texture and exploring, which I love. So I'm actually gonna feed Beckham and I've actually been coming over near the sink to do it just because then we can rinse off the G-tube in between the ringes, which has been so easy and nice. Hunter's the one who figured that out, so we love that. And then after he eats, we are going to try a few meringues because I promised you guys that actually in the video where I met Beth, but I felt like that was just so much more important. So I really wanted that video to primarily be about her. So we're gonna go ahead and do that little taste test of the meringues, practice some chewing in today's video instead. Goodness, another thing that was so cute is Beckham's teacher has been sending me little pictures and videos of him at school. And she sent me a little picture of him on a little swing today. So I'll go ahead and insert that for you guys right here because it was the cutest little thing. He's just on like this giant swing. They have so many fun things at school. It makes me so happy. I don't know if I've actually told you guys this before, but at Beckham School, there is an occupational therapist. Good job, babe. High five, that was a great bite. Excellent day. So there's an occupational therapist at his preschool who's also a feeding therapist. So his teacher actually texted me yesterday and asked me about what foods Beckham can have and asked if they could try a marshmallow. And I was like, let's work up to a marshmallow because that might be kind of intense but they're working with him on grays and him just getting a wider variety of flavor that he can be accustomed to. So we're just strengthening that flavor palette, huh baby? He's eating so good. He always eats so good after preschool, I love it. But I'm really excited about that because I'm probably gonna put him in feeding therapy in the summer when he's not going to preschool, just so we don't have any lapse in time, just because right now is a crucial time for him. So I was really happy. His teacher's like so amazing. I'm seriously so stoked about preschool. You're going, girl. I gotta set you on the ground if you move. I'll have to set you on the ground. Ha ha ha, is that funny? I'm gonna put Blakely on the ground really quick. I only let her be on the counter in her chair when I am literally right here. I'm gonna give you guys like a straight on shot of Beckham because he's doing so good with his food. You're doing amazing, baby. Good job. He's sissy scooting around over there. Oh my word, Beckham has been so obsessed with Chloe. I'm sure you guys saw the video where I told you about his obsession with Chloe. But when I say obsessed with Chloe, I mean like eyes on her, attention on her at all times. It is the cutest thing ever. You see me looking at your friends. Good job, babe. You're doing so good. Oh, I love when he eats super, super well for me. And then it's nice because once I give him this feed, we'll do his G-tube, and then while we're waiting for his food to settle, we will practice the meringues and chewing, but then he gets to go straight to bed after, so he gets to take a nap, because it's not only mentally really challenging for him to overcome that aversion to chewing food, but it's also physically really exhausting, so I'm glad that he gets to take a little nap after, so this will be the perfect time to do that. Good job, Beck, you're eating amazing.
You did so good, baby. High five. Good job. All right, little miss, it's time for you to go to bed. Here, mommy will help you. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye to your friends? <laughs> Don't mind Chloe ferociously drinking in the background. We are going to be practicing more chewing today. I am so excited. Beckham's got this. Give me a high five. Ready to rock? Pew. You got this, baby. I'm gonna start with just a little tiny piece of a white meringue. It's dissolvable, so it's totally safe to go in his mouth. He knows how to chew. He just has very severe aversions because of how long he was intubated in the NICU. Oh my goodness, does your hair feel cool? That is so cool. I told you guys, he's been like obsessed with the texture of his hair lately, which I love just seeing him explore throughout his entire body. I'm so proud of him. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys. I really just fell over there for a second. I'm so sorry. Let's get you reset up. This might be a totally new angle, but we're still gonna go for it. I'm so sorry about that. The camera tipped over. If you couldn't tell, I'll probably leave that footage in. I've got another tiny little piece of meringue. Let's do this, baby. Oh, that was perfect. Good, baby. Good job. Hey, we're so safe. We're so safe. Good job, Baba. Good job. It's okay. Give me a big high five. High five. Oh, good. Yes, work it into those molars. Okay, look at those little chewing movements. That's okay. Sometimes we have a hard day. That's okay. That's okay. Here, you can give it to Mama. Hey, that's okay, sweetie. Hey. Hey, you still did so good. You were still so brave, honey. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. He actually ended up chewing it and eating the rest. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna clean him up. I'm so proud of him. Sometimes that's how it goes, guys. Sometimes that's how it goes. Hey, listen to me. Hey, you were so brave. You were so brave and I'm so proud of you. Okay, I'm so proud of you, honey. Let me get you cleaned up, okay? Hey, that was amazing. That really was. I know that was kind of a big piece, huh? Was that kind of a big piece? But you know what? You only had the tiniest little bit of spit up and then you ate the entire thing. You still ate the whole thing. You did so good. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Can I have a big high five? Oh, I missed. One more time, high five. There we go. Can I have a hug? I'm so proud of you, baby. You did so good. That's my brave Mr. Beckham, huh? That's my brave boy. So proud of you, babe. I know that was hard. That was kind of scary, huh? That was kind of scary, but you did so good. Sometimes we're gonna have hard days like that. But do you wanna know what is the most important thing? The most important thing is that we just try again tomorrow, okay? The most important thing is that we just try again tomorrow and all of these small little victories are gonna add up to you being able to eat, okay? I promise. <gasps> Can you feel the water? <gasps> wow, is that water? Good job! Wow, can mommy do it? Yeah, you wanna help mommy? <gasps> wow! You got me! <gasps> Yay! Should we clap? <gasps> clap, 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 clap! Clap, 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 clap! Good job! High five! <gasps> Good job! I'm so proud of you. So that's just how it goes sometimes. I mean, not every day is gonna look perfect, but I always make sure it's a positive experience for him. I want to remind him that every day, regardless of how big the victory is, is going to add up to him being able to eat in the future. And it's obviously hard. It's hard to see him be so fearful when I put that little piece of food in his mouth. But I know he's safe. He is still learning that he's safe, so that's why I'm constantly reminding him. Even with that little bit of spit up, he still ended up chewing the meringue and swallowing the majority of it, which I am so proud of. Sometimes he eats it without any hesitation, and sometimes it's really, really scary like it was today. 
but I find it really, really important to share both experiences with you so that you understand what it's like for him because it's very up and down for him. A lot of times we don't know the reaction we're gonna get when we're working on different types of therapy, but the one consistent thing that is so important is that he always feels like he was brave, he feels like he was strong, and he knows that he did a great job so that he's willing to try again tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and close today's vlog on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing our brave little Beckham boy because that's exactly what he is. Is so stinking brave. I'm gonna let him go down for a nap because obviously he's a little bit overwhelmed, but he did so good and he was able to play with the water for a little bit. So I think he's having a fun time now. I'm gonna love on this little boy. Yes, I am. And we're gonna let him go down for a nap. But before saying goodbye to you guys, of course, what do we wanna remind them of, Bubba? What do we wanna tell them? That we want them to be brave like Beckham. And we'll catch you guys in our next vlog. Bye. <gasps> do you wanna blow a kiss? Get over here. Ready? Bye! Good job.